Hello, I'm John Harold with Zytron. Thanks for taking the time to watch this overview of Smart Flexo Screening, the high fidelity screening engine inside Zytron's Flexo Suite. We'll save the in-depth discussion for another time, but today we'll hit some of the key features and let you see the results. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is set the transition point between AM and FM screening in the highlight area. Because different printing conditions require different settings, Smart Flexo lets you choose this transition point in both highlights and shadows to meet your individual needs. We're also going to set the minimum dot size, which will become the supporting dot structure in the highlights. Okay, the job has been screened and we can now see the results in the viewer. Let's zoom in for a closer look. Here we can see that at the 9% range, AM has transitioned to FM. Those smaller dots you see interspersed with the FM dots are support dots, giving extra structure to highlight dots. Here's another look. In this view, you can clearly see the surface screening that's been applied. Keep in mind that you are in full control of the size and population of the support dots. Smart Flexo is fully customizable. Now let's take a look at the transition settings in the shadow areas. We'll set Smart Flexo to change from AM to FM from 88% onward and then take a look at the results in the viewer. We'll zoom in for a closer look. Here you can clearly see the transition and Smart Flexo's ability to adapt to your printing environment. A very unique feature in Smart Flexo is the ability to remove pixels from solid or near solid areas, which reduces ink pooling and modeling, resulting in better ink coverage. We'll set the Smart Cell Zone to 80 and tell Smart Flexo to remove 3x3 three three pixel areas with a level 3 density. Again, this is completely customizable to your conditions. Let's take a look at the results. As we zoom in, you can see the effect. Each of these squares are three pixels by three pixels wide, and the population is controlled by the smart cell density setting we just adjusted. The user control here is quite remarkable, as are the results on press. Non-square smart cells can also be applied. Here's another unique feature of Smart Flexo. When we're removing pixels, we want to maintain the integrity of any dots that may be affected by the range we've set. To demonstrate, we'll take the Smart Cell Zone down to 65 and set our boundary width to three pixels. We'll also move our density down a notch and send the job. What we've just asked Smart Flexo to do is to not remove any pixels closer to three pixels from the edge of a dot.
and here are the results. Here are some dots in the 70% range. The magnification is at about 46,000% and all the dots have proper edges. Up to this point, we've shown you the effects that various settings have on a test job, but what do these settings look like when applied to a real design? Let's take a look. We'll take a job and drop it into the Navigator Flexo Suite interface. The RIP processes the job, as you can see by this indicator. This is in real time, by the way. Smart Flexo uses the settings applied to create the final 1-bit TIFF files. In this case, we are setting the highlight transition to 9, the shadow transition to 92, and our smart cell zone at 95 with a low density or population of smart cells. This job only calls for CMYK, as you can see in the bearer bars, but all the functionality of Smart Flexo applies to spot colors as well. The job is now finished and available for delivery to the CTP or for viewing, which we're going to do now. First, we'll take a look at some highlight blends that would likely cause drop-off problems with standard screening. Here are some really nice transitions in cyan and magenta, along with surface screening in the area to help with the structure. Here's another nice fade. You can see the balance if we turn the cyan off and just look at the yellow and magenta, and then back out a little bit. Let's take a closer look at the Pepsi logo. When we zoom in, we'll remove the cyan so you can see the transitions. After that, we'll remove the yellow so we can just see the magenta. There's the yellow by itself, and now the yellow and cyan. Good looking dots in a super transition. Finally, let's see what our smart cell settings have done for the solids. We'll zoom in here and take a look at the magenta and cyan patches. And back out for a broader view. Then the 100% patch on the cyan. Nice! So there you have it, completely customizable screening that produces excellent zero to end transitions, surface screening to support highlight integrity, superior density reproduction, and the capacity to improve the print quality amid a myriad of printing conditions. Thank you for watching.